This morning's guest lost his leg to cancer, but he lost his heart to the children of India. Who is he? You'll meet him coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at Design It, custom design services and retail furniture here at the former Waccamaw Outlet Mall on Highway 501 in Myrtle Beach. We're focused on the recent Indian Auto Rickshaw Challenge, Mumbai Rally Express 2007, and we're visiting with one of the rally participants. Local attorney Jay Bolts. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Greg. It's so exciting to get you in after the event. Of course, we were with you out at HTC up there in Carolina Forest leading up to the event before you and your brother left for India. Now you all are back. A great time to rally around and talk about it. Yeah. Um, it's, I've been back for about two weeks now, and I'm still trying to recover. But uh, <laughs> it, was, it was just uh, words. It's hard to find words to describe this thing. But it was an amazing adventure. Um, and as well as a you know, great humanitarian effort as well, which oh, yeah. we focused on the last time we spoke. But right. um, um, it, it's it's an auto rickshaw challenge and it was challenging i mean it was a, a survival event um, uh, we were over there and we went uh, you know a couple thousand miles across india uh, over the mountains through the rainforest along the coast um, and every day uh, was was challenging. Um, Did you say a couple of thousand miles? Uh, kilometers, yeah, several oh, thousand Lord. kilometers. Yes. Wow! And uh, we rode in uh, raced auto rickshaws. Each team had an auto rickshaw. There were 32 teams from around the world, and we were one of the American teams. Uh, there are teams from Hungary and from Canada and from uh, France and from uh, a number of different Ireland, uh, Great Britain, um, a bunch of different places, and. Uh, it, an auto rickshaw is is a very popular vehicle over in that part of the world. In and India, and, really? Yeah, and especially mm -hmm. in India. In fact, it was a 50th anniversary of the auto rickshaw, uh, this particular design. Mm. And it's it's a three wheel vehicle that's used as a taxi cab and um, has a, uh, a two cycle engine in it, and it's driven like a motorcycle, you know, with the handlebars and the steering and everything, and the clutch and the gears and the whole the whole wow. bit. And it's a, a very sturdy machine, but a very temperamental machine. Had too, you ever so. been in one prior to going? No, over no, I only seen pictures. Oh, come on! Um, the day before the flag off for the rally, we were supposed to have a, um, a chance to to test drive these things, right. um, but they didn't have them ready in time, and and so we didn't get a chance to do that. So we all went out that evening, and they're everywhere. So I hired one of them, and I convinced the taxi driver. He, he couldn't speak English, um, but I managed to convince him that what I was doing. I was showing him my, my tag, my identification tag, right. and he understood what we were doing. Right. So he let me drive his around. So he I got a little really? bit of experience driving wow. around a park. The lot. liability would have been on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. What's and, your insurance policy cover? Well, I don't know if they have insurance in India. Sure there they're are they're no road road rules in in India. It's, it's right? survival of of the the fittest and the strongest. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just uh, I had read and had heard that driving in India is the most dangerous place to drive in the world, and and, so. and it is, it is, yeah. it really is. There are more accidents and deaths and and, and injuries in India from um, the roadways than any other place in the world, and it's just insane. Just, I mean, it was just nerve wracking, and yeah. you had to be just right on top of what you were doing right. and thinking a thousand miles an hour to to negotiate giant trucks and giant buses. And cows, and water buffalo, and elephants, I'm and camels. Right now, just hearing you talk about <laughs> and it, Jay. Gazillions yeah. of motorcycles, small motorcycles, and, and small cars, and and uh, it, it was just insane. I mean, there were we drove through one of the larger cities. It took three hours to get through there, mm -hmm. and I happened to be driving that day. And uh, you know, you get squeezed in between buses and trucks, and banged and hit and, and pushed, and and you're constantly on your horn the whole time. And they want you to 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 honk your horn so you know where people are. You know, so if you hear somebody honking behind you, you know somebody's right. coming up. Right. So it's just the opposite over there. People 
are glad for you to honk your horn because really? then they know where you are and where you're going. Right. But, you know, I was getting squeezed between two large vehicles and, and some bus, and the bus has hit my, my rear corner over here, and he's spinning me around, and I put it down into a low gear, you know, to get out from underneath what was going on, and spun around in front of the bus just in time to run up underneath a camel, and this camel starts bucking and rearing all over the place, and I threw it in reverse and turned around and went, you know, and it's just traffic okay, everywhere. That sounds scary. Who's <laughs> and your brother? Now, were you driving most of the time, or your brother? We split it up. Right. Uh, each day we took turns driving, and, right. and you couldn't drive more in the day doing that. It was it was so exhausting. And then yeah. going through the mountains, you know, the the roads just all but disappeared up in the mountains through the rainforest. Rains coming down, waterfalls everywhere, washouts everywhere, buses and trucks and cars and everything off the side of these cliffs and off the side of roads. I've got pictures of all of these, you know, calamities everywhere. Right. And we got lost one time and we're driving at night. The whole electrical system failed. We had no lights. We had no windshield wiper, no horn. Now, Jay, I've got to stop you for a second because I know viewers want to know this. Did you really make this trip, or you uh, just have I a got great pictures imagination? To prove it. Yeah. No, I got pictures. Those pictures to prove can it. be doctored pretty well. You brought these three pictures of yeah. you and your brother and kids in India. But well, I mean, yeah. Did this really happen? It really happened, and, That's and I understand that there's pictures all over the internet. There's yeah. videos all over the internet, including YouTube and Flickr. Is that you right? know, you just yeah. uh, you know just Google in or whatever the the auto rickshaw rally. And Sure. And uh, there's, and of there's course, stuff everywhere. Of course, folks can go online to IndianARC.com. Yes. Still yes. after the fact. Yes, the they have photos. a number of photographs from really? that and videos. Right. And uh, there was a, a professional photographer who went along. There was right. a, a whole film crew that followed us all across India. So there's going to be a film on this. Wow. And not only that, but uh, we were like heroes in India because right? everywhere we went, there were news teams and television cameras and yeah. newspaper reporters and, yeah. and taking pictures and interviewing people. And so all across India, people knew who we were and what we were doing. Wow. And the so, 32 teams. Yeah. yeah. And, and so everybody is waving and cheering. And, and uh, when they found out who we were, they would help us. Because, you, you know, you are in one town location, and you flag off at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and you are on your own till you arrive at the next destination. You, I mean, some traveled as groups, most traveled individually, and you had to find your way from here to there. And we had maps, but most of these roads are not on a map, and you can't. And, and the road signs are either in Hindi or Arabic, and you can't understand what it is. And trying to communicate with people was difficult. And every state you went to was like a different country. They spoke completely different languages. We right. befriended one of the Indian film crew. Uh, members, so he rode with us part of the way, and Is since we right? got crossed into another state, right. he couldn't speak the language. He's Indian, but he could not speak the language, and they could not talk to him. No and way. then you go to the next the next state, and you go through police checkpoints, and you have to have paperwork to get from one state to another. I mean, it's like going from South Carolina to North Carolina, and you get stopped at the border yeah, up there, like yeah, crossing into a foreign border, country, yeah, right. and, and it's a different language. Unbelievable. Um, so it, it was just insane. It was How just exciting. Insane. Well, of yeah. course, we want to focus on what your real purpose was of making the trip over there. There is a great shot. Before we look at some of those photos, a great piece in a uh, Express Features, a publication over there. The New India Express was the one New of the India newspapers Express, that followed right. our progress. And, and the first day of the photographs and articles that came out, right. Uh, my brother and I were featured in that. Sure, sure. Um, and that's me sitting on front of our auto rickshaw. Oh yeah. It's a and great, uh, that great pose, shot. that pose was actually sponsored by Miss World Hungry, who was one of the team members, and she was posing on the front of her rickshaw next to us. So I was sitting on the front of mine, mimicking and making fun of her. I love and it. And all the photographers came over and took a picture of me. So the next morning, the picture of me shows up in the newspaper instead of her. You're so kidding. she came up and gave her conciliation. Tory speech, you know, so yeah. congratulations on being the newspaper and everything. It was yeah, hilarious. I but. love it. 70 contestants from all over the world began their 1921 kilometer auto journey to reach Mumbai by, on August 17th. And of course, here it has Jay Bolts, who lost his leg to bone cancer, and his brother Carl Bolts from South Carolina at the Mumbai Express Auto Rally. Quote, we are here for the first time. Yeah. I love it. What a great piece. And to think that uh, this was Monday, August 6th, right at the beginning of the... Uh, yeah, we started Sunday the 5th, and those pictures and articles were done right. and, and appeared in the next day's newspaper. I love it. But all along, there were newspapers uh, everywhere that, you know, when we would break down, which was a lot, 
right. and we get lost or we'd run out of gas or whatever because we couldn't figure out how much gas we had and how much fuel consumption. And uh, so, we, you know, people, villagers will all come out and they recognize who we were and they're, they're waving these newspapers and pointing to pictures and there's no, Darl right. and I in the picture. Oh, you're kidding. You know? yeah, and, yeah. and so they all came out to help and, and it was That's hard getting wild. directions, but they yeah. just kind of point in that direction. Is and, that right? Yeah. They just point. <laughs> and you say, I speak that language, yeah. Yeah, we could, we could yeah, you know, at I least like point, that you know, yeah. go that way. Yeah. And, and sometimes that was not the correct way, but at any rate. And, is, and we had to leave. Uh, the route to go on different challenges. Each day they give us a challenge such as go to this particular location, go into this jungle, go to this temple, right, right. go inside this temple and look for this particular god or goddess and find out the name of or whatever. Wow, really? And, That's and part of the challenge. Yeah, so it was many more miles than just that. I mean, yeah. and, and if you add in the times you got lost and had right. to backtrack too. But. Unbelievable. Did you meet some new gods over there and goddesses? Oh, er everyone under the sun. It was amazing. Yeah. Every time you turn around there's another other temple. Every neighborhood has its own temple. Oh my. Every field has its own temple. There were giant temples that are just amazing, the most incredible things you could ever imagine. Really? Something straight out of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the same size and doors and grandeur and, and you know, ancient, you know, going back thousands of years. And I can write tell a you, book on this. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. There's so many adventures I can get on. <laughs> In the next J.R.R. Tolkien series, I Jay know. and it was, Carl. Yeah. It, it, was, it was insane, but just amazing. We climbed to the top of this mountain to one of the right largest temple statutes in the world. It was a Jain temple. It's been in National Geographic. And I got pictures of that and, and climbed. And it, it was difficult for me with my leg, but I managed to get up there. And it was so awe-inspiring to be in this temple on this mountain, thousands of years old, in this giant Jain statue of, of, I forget the name of the god, I couldn't pronounce it anyway. Right. But um, I didn't take pictures. I was just oh, so awe-inspired. So yeah. 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 And I was also out of breath climbing up there, too. Right, so. right, right. You and Carl. So there were 32 teams. How many American teams, Jay? Uh, there was four of us. Just yeah. four American teams. Yeah. Now, you mentioned for a little while that the uh, the, the reporter, or the, the guy, the film crew guy that spoke mm -hmm. a certain language, had gotten in with you a little bit. Did he actually get in the rickshaw? He did. He rode with us. For more uh, than two in that thing? Yeah. Um, there's A lot of the teams were three people, two in the back and one driving in the front, and they right. would rotate. Right. <clears throat> Garl and I... Just two of us. Our younger brother was supposed to go, but he couldn't make it at the last minute. So we had an extra space in there. And uh, we became friendly with Dev, who was uh, on the film team, and he right. rode with us here and there, as did some of the other backup crew. So some of the mechanic guys would ride with us. and and. Uh, yeah, so we got friendly with them, but yeah, we'd go to different states and they couldn't speak the language. And we thought it was great at the beginning, right. you know, having someone who could speak the language yeah. and, you know, talk to the locals about where to find a mechanic shop to fix this. You know, sure. we lost fourth gear, then lost third gear. And, and you had to pay for those, I mean, you had to get that set Yeah, we, we had to survive. Yeah, yeah, we had to figure out where to go and what to eat and where to find water and where to find food. and. And um, and where to find these temples and, and challenges and stuff. Did they allow <clears throat> other Indians to compete, or would that have been too much of an unfair advantage in the challenge? I mean, do, were they all foreigner? Were they, they were all? all yeah, there were no Indian. Hungry. There are no specific no Indians Indian who really teams. knew about rickshaws. And well, there no. Yeah, huh. there were some Indians from other countries. Right. Uh, that were participating, but sure. no, they had no experience with rickshaws either. In fact, you know, the, the flag off, the initial flag off out of this, this ancient school area, the big giant walls and a huge gate, ornate gate, one of the teams just got so excited they crashed into the gate and smashed up their vehicle. They never made, even made it out of the gate. But, Is that right? But there's a lot of accidents along the way, crashes with uh, buses and trucks, and unfortunately one of the teams went off a cliff. Uh, one of the girls in that team got very seriously injured. No. Um, the thing that saved them was just right where they went off the cliff, there happened to be a group of trees down below. They landed in the trees. Otherwise, it would have been hundreds and hundreds of feet down. So they were very lucky. We had uh, a number of crashes and turnovers with other vehicles and rollovers and going off the side of the road and that kind of stuff because these road conditions, especially going through the mountains, mm -hmm. are just dangerous. I mean, you would expect to be going in mules on, with a yeah, mule pack yeah. in some of these places. <laughs> and and these giant trucks become rumbling down these things, and they can't stop, and you got to get out of their way. And and uh, and many of those trucks had gone off the side of the roads. So, I mean, 
we took pictures of just horrific wrecks down the sides of cliffs and off mountains and down in ravines. Jay, how did you and your brother find out about uh, you and your brothers uh, since it was all three? Yeah, um, something you found out about or Garl? Uh, my, Garl's wife uh, saw it on the internet and said, "Man, this looks like something crazy you guys something would do." Something Jay would do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. me and and uh, they. She did it as a joke. Yeah. She said, "Take a look at this. This is insane." And my brothers and I got on the phone and said. Uh, you know, I want to do this. Yeah. And so yeah. we all signed up. But wow. the last minute, my, you know, our baby brother couldn't go. Uh -huh. um, he had other things that, that he had to attend to. Right, but sure. uh, Carl and I made it. That is and, and it's just yeah. it's just the adventure of a lifetime. It, yeah. it truly is. Um, I'm sorry, my two brothers and I couldn't break away to find a, find a way to make that trip. You just you just make yeah. the time. Yeah. It was difficult leaving yeah. uh, our work, my practice, right. coming back and hoping I'd still have a you know a oh, yeah. job when I got sure. back. But, yeah. And uh, you know the sacrifices you make to do something, but it's the event of a lifetime, and it was a profound experience. Right. You know the poverty in India is overwhelming, just mm. overwhelming. Mm. And there's mm. so many contrasts in India. Um, but you know, getting to the ultimate mission of the trip, and that was the charity event right. for the schools, and each team was assigned a different school. Um, we had raised enough money, fortunately, and we ended up sponsoring several schools. Great. Uh, but we had our primary school that we went to, and I brought some photographs of uh, yeah, Carl absolutely. and I at Let's the school. Let's talk about those. I want to highlight that aspect, Jay. I remember, and of course, you focus on the, the serving other humans, not as, a, as opposed to serving an Indian nation, as opposed to Americans. And right. that aspect, I remember you got a phone call that was disturbing right after you aired with us a couple of months ago before yeah, the trip. Yeah, and, and, and the fellow said, you know, well, why can't you take care of people here at home? Right. Well, we do. I do. You yeah. know, I've been involved in so many charities here. Oh, yeah. We have Camp Happy Days, the Special Olympics. Right. <clears throat> I do so much here at home. Right. But, you know, the world has shrunk. And we are much more connected with our neighbors in the world than yes. ever before. We're not yes. isolated anymore. We're right. all interdependent upon each other. You're right. And so the best way for the world to improve is to help your neighbors, okay. not just down the street, not in the next county, not in the next state, but in the next country as well. Oh, yeah. Very and, nice. And so, you know, the world improves. Our image as Americans improves. Right. Um, humanitarian efforts around the world grows because of this type of thing, because of what, you know, people involved in this event have done. Yeah, yeah. And so we vi visited, we were assigned, yeah, our primary school these, uh, was in, in Karwar, sure. India, which okay. is... Um, on the uh, west coast of India, on the right. Arabian Sea, um, it's not right on because it's a very rocky coast. It's kind of mm -hmm. like Oregon or, or Washington, right? Um, but it's right adjacent to the Arabian Sea, and uh, it was the primary school in Karwar, India, right. and the local sponsors were the Rotary Clubs, good, uh, a specific Rotary Club, and we made contacts with them early on. Great. And the school that we attended early in the morning, as the <clears throat> rally continued, everybody else went through the flag off and, and continued the race. And along the way, each team, kind of like making a pit stop in a race, everybody had to do it. Sure. So it sure. didn't hurt your time. Good. Um, and so we went and met with the Rotarians and then went to the school. Well, let's, uh, we've got about five minutes, Jay. Time is flying. So this first photo we've got here. This first fo photo is uh, we brought a number of books and materials and supplies with the, they're in, in short need of. And you can see me handing a stack of books. Now, these are our composition notebooks. Right. You know, with the, the lines in them and stuff. They don't even have those to write in. Mm. And other supplies and books and pencils and that sort of stuff. And this is me handing uh, to one of the students there a, a stack of those books and those those children were so happy to get these right now you can see the children in the background they're all oh, sitting yeah. in the on the floor all wearing um, uniforms they're all wearing uniforms they're they're beautiful children clean uniforms they're all barefoot mm -hmm. they have no desks or chairs to sit in Unbelievable. they have no lights the only light that comes into these classrooms comes in through the windows mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's an ancient old building and they use whatever resources they can get to to teach the children Unbelievable. the children live to go to these schools they're eager to learn and right. and they just they just eat this stuff up and so anything we can do for them um, you know we, we try to do and this is going to be an ongoing effort since visiting the school since making the contacts with the local Rotarians mm -hmm. 
um, they have given us ways to take some of the money that we have raised and get matching grants from Rotary Foundation right. and then matching grants from the local Rotary clubs in Car War India. I love it. And, and so that maybe we can get them uh, uh, desks and chairs. And this is a great example of the level of poverty that we haven't oh, yeah, seen in the amazing. U.S. in a long time. Albeit, and, and, there have been parts of the U.S. that have had this kind of le level of poverty, nothing yeah. like it oh, in yeah. the recent past. Oh, yeah. And, nor would we allow it to happen. So it's great that you all would make those efforts. It makes a huge difference. I love it. Uh, we had a truckload of supplies come up that early that morning and, and offload all these materials. Mm. The next picture yeah, is out in the, the schoolyard. Uh, right. That's Garl and I, and the children are just mobbing us. They're just so happy to meet oh, us. Yeah, you're heroes. Uh, well, we're heroes. Yeah. yeah, they saw us in the newspaper or on television. Yeah. yeah, they wanted me to sign autographs, and they all went to the rickshaw, and everybody started signing the names and writing no things way. all over the rickshaw. And and, oh, and yeah. so that was so exciting. You know, that right there, that picture just says it all. It was so, so rewarding. Yeah. And the children were so happy. Yeah. And then as we were saying goodbye, I mean, we were just mobbed by a couple hundred kids just, oh, you know, waving Lord, and cheering. Oh, shot here. Yeah. 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 And, and Look it, at them. It was just so moving. To, to go through this experience and make such an incredible difference over so little. Yeah. You know, for us, mm -hmm. you know, boxes of notebooks are not a big deal, but for them, that's their education. Mm. That's mm -hmm. the materials that they have in mm. that school because we brought it to them. Right. And so we're going to continue the effort. Uh, we're still in touch. Uh, we brought some of the money back. Uh, that we're going to turn into matching grants and send it back over there. Great. And uh, we've got other people who have called up since finding out what we have done and oh, said, I can I send some money in? Good. I said, yes. So there's still people making donations. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just been the most amazing And if experience. a viewer wanted to call and support now, what's the best number to call? Or can they go online to support it? Or should they just call you directly, Jay? Uh, they can call my office directly. That's Bolt's Law Offices at 626-2006. How about 626-2006? That or two, it, yeah. Last year was the big year of your phone number. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it. And uh, um, they can call in, and, and we're running the money through my office trust account. Okay. And uh, right. I'm going to be meeting with the local Rotarians here. I've already made contact, and they're going to assist us in, in sending the money to the uh, Rotary Foundation and Great. then getting it back over to India. Um, and with the matching grant. So. That's fantastic. We've got the district governor, Mary Martin, on the show in the yes. early part of next month. I have spoken with her. And she's very excited oh, about this. And we plan got on getting together in the next few days. And, uh, and she said, I want to sit down and meet with you and, and uh, help you with this project. I love it. What yeah. was the most, we've just got a couple of minutes, Jay. What was the most exciting aspect for you? Was it these experiences of being at the school and handing them the composition? That was books? the most profound experience right. is, right. is, is that the, mm -hmm. what these pictures show. Right. Um, as far as the rest of it, just coming out alive, I think was oh, pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> being alive, being back here to. Tell but a lot that. of places we went to, the various Rotary clubs and schools hosted programs for us, and and they would provide uh, entertainment, and the children would come in in costume and sing and dance, and and uh, it was it was just amazing. It was mm. just it was being like being in another lifetime in another world, and. And it was an incredible experience. Well, I know, obviously, as you highlighted your service of, of children in this area and throughout the U.S., it was it was thanks to you that we were able to spend an entire week at Camp Happy Days mm -hmm. three summers ago, which really yes. meant a lot. And I know even some of the children who were able to be on the show during that week are no longer with us. And so oh, I know. I know. Your commitment to children in this area, those children often mm -hmm. with, with terminal illnesses, Yes. Whether they come through it or not, and and our support continues for Camp Happy Days, and yeah. uh, the support will continue for uh, the children over in Car War India. Right. You know, you can't individually save the world, but you can make a difference. You can make a difference at home, and you can make a difference around the world, and that's what this is about. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to do what I can here. And I'm trying to do what I can in other places in the world as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, one last note. No, please. Out yeah. of 32 teams from yeah. around the world, we came in fourth place. Oh, come on. Fourth place. Is Check out right? the website. We're listed. Number Indy four. IndianARC.com. Yes. How are you all listed? The Bolts Brothers? Uh, no, Voodoo Cadillac. Oh, My wow. brother came up with that name. It's a, it's a song by the Scots. Right. Uh, a Southern Rock 
band, and uh, he came up with that name and said, fine. And so and all across right. India, we were known as Voodoo Cadillac. Is that right? Yeah. Any other catchy names that really stood out of the 32 teams? Oh, there's uh, Team Tuck and Crazy and, uh, you know, just uh, just all kinds of crazy names. Did but, you bef befriend the other three American teams, Jay? Um my brother, who's younger than I, right. uh, ended up befriending the British rugby players who had several teams from, from the UK. Sure. And so they had a number of drinking parties late at night, which oh. was the best way to survive this event. And yeah. I ended up befriending some of the Hungarian teams, right. not just because of Miss World Hungary. <laughs> but, not just because of Miss World Hungary. But she was, she was uh, in, in with the Hungarian group, but I made some good friends with the Hungarian teams. Yeah. And, and uh, so we made some friends that will last a lifetime, oh, yeah. including you know the Dev from the uh, the film crew right. and, and Kowser from uh, the mechanic crew who was oh, in yeah. charge of the mechanics. Uh, we have made lifetime friends, and we've been in touch with them, and I hope we can see each other again. Well, I knew everything was fine when your office manager, Judy, had emailed me a picture of you with Miss Hungry, uh, World Hungry. I thought Jay is in the right place at the right time uh, that help, was, to help kids. That I was one it. of the pluses, I yes. I bet. Great being with us. Uh, <laughs> Thank thanks you, so Greg. much for coming in this Thank morning, you. Jay. Yeah. Stay tuned to more Carolina people with Jay Bolts coming up next. You know, look at that headline. Look at that headline, Zip, Zap, and Zoom. It just doesn't sell the story. It doesn't sell it for me. C and J and his brother Garl on there, now, now that sells the story, but it should be. Holy cow, what a humanitarian effort. What a humanitarian effort. It's thinking about experiences of making a difference for all humanity, not just American humanity or not even just Indian humanity. You can still make a difference. You can support humanity in general by picking up the phone, 626-2006, 626, -2006, 626 2006. Give Jay a call. Tell him you want to be a part of helping those children. I hope you were here the last 10 minutes. You can see the tremendous picture of Jay and his brother there handing those composition books out. Handing those composition books out. Think of the difference all those kids were able to experience. The opportunity of just getting some composition books. Did you see those photos? If you didn't, go online next week. Take a look at Jay online at carolinapeople.com so you can see the experiences of these children really taking in all of what Jay and his brother and so many of the amazing 70 volunteers over here were there to make a difference in their lives.